Hi Year 4, welcome to Maths Meeting number 14. Now before we start, as always, you'll need something to write with and something to write on. And as the video plays, this pause button will pop up every now and again, remind you to pause the video, have a go at the questions on the screen, and then we'll go through the answers afterwards. OK, let's begin. OK, can I tell the time first of all? Our clock face has got Roman numerals on, but the time is still going to be the same. So are we going to? Are we going past? You can do the time as analog or digital or both if you want a bit of a challenge. OK, pause the video. Off you go. OK, we're going to tackle analog first of all. And our minute hand is here on the right side of the clock, which means we're going past. What hour are we going past? We're going past X, which is 10. So how many minutes past? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 minutes past 10, or 25 past 10. Digital time now, what's well, okay because digital time likes it when we do past, because we are still past the 10, and how many minutes? We're still 25 minutes past the 10. Well done if you've got analog, well done if you've got digital, and well done if you've both. Okay, what's next? Multiplying multiples of 10. Okay, we've got our numbers there, 15, 201, and 2.5. Multiply each of those numbers by 10, by 100, and then by 1,000. Remember, you don't have to draw the grid out, just do the calculations. OK, off we go. OK, let's see how we did, shall we? OK, we'll start with 15 times 10, 150. 15 times 100, 1,500. 15 times 1,000, 15,000. Well done, you've got those three. 201 now, 201 times 10 is 2,010. 201 times 100 is 20,100. And 201 times 1,000 is 201,000. Well, then we've got those three. OK, 2.5 now. 2.5 times 10 is 25. 2.5 times 100 is 250. And 2.5 times 1,000 is 2,500. OK, let's see what's next, shall we? Factor bugs. We've got 26, 54 and 28. I want you to write down the factors of each of those three numbers now. OK, let's see, shall we remember? Every number has one and itself as factors. So 26 has got 1 and 26. It's also got 2 and 13. 2 multiplied by 13 is 26. 54 has got 1 and 54. It's also got 2 and 27. 3 and 18. 6 and 9. Well done if you got those ones correct. OK, 28 now. As always, 28 has got 1 and 28, 2 and 14, 4 and 7. Well done if you've got all those factors for all three of those numbers. OK, rounding now to the nearest 100. I want everyone to join in the rhyme nice and loud. Look to your hundreds. Look to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, round down to the 100 that came before. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, round up to the next 100 on the number line. Were you singing nice and loud? Excellent, I bet you were. OK, today we're going to be rounding 293 to the nearest 100. OK, 293 to the nearest 100. Pause the video and have a go now. OK, let's see, shall we? 293 round to the nearest 100. Well, we need to think what multiples of 100 is 293 between. It's between 200. And 300, when we're rounding 293, our hundreds column, we need to look at our tens column to tell us if we're rounding up or down. There's a nine in our tens column there. Now, 200 and 300, halfway between there is 250. 293 should go there. We can already straight away see which multiple of 100 we're closest to. We're closest to 300. So 293 rounded to, rounded to the nearest 100 is 300. Well done if you got that one correct. OK, fact families now. We've got pairs of fact families. This calculation will help us with this calculation. Fill in all those missing numbers now. OK, let's make a start, shall we? 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So what multiplied by 3 is 60? 20 multiplied by 3 is 60. 3 multiplied by 7 now. 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. So 3 times what is 210? 3 times 70. 
3 multiplied by 9 is 27. 30 multiplied by what is 270? 30 multiplied by 9. 6 multiplied by 8 is 48. 6 multiplied by what makes 480? 6 multiplied by 80. Well done if you got those ones correct. OK, let's see what's next. Addison. Addison wants us to add those two numbers, 924 and 199, using the most efficient method. OK, pause the video and use the most efficient method to add those numbers now. OK, what method did you use? Hopefully you used this method, 199. Well, that's so close to 200, isn't it? Let's add one to make that 924 plus 200. That's nice and easy because then we have that 900 at the 200, 20 at 0, 4 at 0. So what's that? 1,124. But wait a minute, that's not our answer. We added one too many. Got to take one away, haven't we? So our final answer, 924 plus 199 is 1,123. Okay, we've got a black line on the screen now, a black line on the screen, and I want you to measure it. Use that ruler to measure the black line. Off you go. Okay, let's see. That's the start. So let's count in centimetres. No, we're just one millimetre away from our nice round centimetre here. One millimetre away, one centimetre, two centimetres, three centimetres, four centimetres. And how many millimetres? I think we can see there, can't we? Just one little millimetre there. So that means that we've got four centimetres and one millimetre. Or we could write that as 41 millimetres. Or we could write it as four whole centimetres, 0.1, 4.1 centimetres.